How you doing folks? Today um, it's finding bad bearings. I noticed that because uh, every time I start the engine I hear some whining extra noise. Some extra whining noise from the back. I cannot demonstrate that right now because I already uninstalled uh, the culprit. But this is more about how do you locate such uh, bearings. Okay, get underneath because the belly of a all the riding lawnmower, it basically exists out of belts. Critical safety, don't forget your jack stands. For your tractor dudes out there, it's, it's not like drive shafts in different things. It's all belly. Uh, hold on, let me get my light. Um, over here there's two. I removed um, the, the mowing uh, clutch that was here, that was making noises. Uh, this is this is uh, the crank, uh, the crank axle, the crank axle from the engine, and um, uh, the belt above here is for the drive. That's to move around and stuff. It goes to the hydro pump, and then it sends hydro fluids to these hoses to the uh, hydro drive. It uses oil to drive. That's on the front, the same case. Usually bearings that are in a fluid housing. Like this one possibly is, and uh, that doesn't wear out fast. Usually, uh, it starts in the oil from the oil bath, and it's keeping all this lubricated. But bearings like these, these little tension pulley over here, that's for the clutch. Um, actually, the best way is to loosen all the belts so they're like floppy, and just get a good feel on them. Yeah, the belts are loose now. I removed, I uh, unhooked the spring. I don't remember where it goes. Oh, there's an, there's an eye there back there. It's pretty hard to remove these springs, but uh, once you do, these pulleys are free locking. Make sure the belt does not touch. Make sure the pulley doesn't touch anything, and then rotate the pulley and listen for noises in the fuel. If they like really smooth and they don't make any noises almost, it's a good one. It, if you rotate it with your hand it's, and it feels like it has a bunch of rocks in there it's, and it's kind of stiff almost. That one is trashed. No go. And yeah, it's kind of hard to... How the heck is this? It's now rubbing against the belt a little bit. So Let's try a different one. Oh yeah. It's sliding against the belt, but uh, this one was good because it's nice and smooth. When you grab it, it's you know it feels nice and uh, it feels really nice, and it doesn't have balls in there. I mean, uh, they're balls, but sometimes the seal fails and junk comes in there. And then you have a problem with um, yeah, the sand eating up the ball slowly. The balls that are sitting in grease. I used uh, the Russian uh, babushka method to uh, get the ball bearings out. Oh, here's the bearing. It's now even completely destroyed because uh, the only way to get it out is smash on the center ring. You never want to do that normally. Um, this was the pulley where it is. It has clunked uh, nails, meaning there were nails in there that were molted and spread out. They were made of brass. Turn off the radio. And yeah, the only way to get the bearing out is to remove this and uh, drill out um, the clunked nails. And then um, find fitting bolts for it later and lock tie them and have nuts on them with a blue uh, locking ring. It's really important because they did not uh, melt this uh, together and that's for nothing. And um, yeah, I uh, removed the bearing with this clutch still attached and that was a mistake actually. Yeah, because I bent it so I had to straighten back out. It looks pretty good now. Get your babushkas. Uh, Wood axe with the flat end, claw hammer with the round head, and uh, then drill. A big fat screwdriver if you mess up the clutch again to straighten back out with the uh, vise. The way you can tell is uh, you look like this, 
and nothing is like sticking out like it's cricket. Uh, the way how this thing, how this system works, let's get the other part. This is directly underneath the engine. So you got your electric magnetic co coupling. That's uh, if something goes wrong with this, it's a $200 uh, uh, price price. Not a not a, not a cheap uh, piece of kit. And this is an electric the coupling. When you press the button to come on, oh, it's even magnetic right now. It's like smashes against the other plate. There we go. It smashes against the other one, makes this rotate, and then the pulley rotates, and then you, your knives are start cutting the grass. And Usually these things are pretty reliable, but um, we live in uh, South Holland and uh, it's pretty foggy here. It's now in the rainy season and, uh, and maybe it's uh, the fog getting into the bearings and uh, rusting everything. But actually the bearing itself doesn't look so bad. But they are just smashed up on the inside. They look nice on the outside. They look just like this. But uh, when you uh, get your hold of it, it's like a rough feeling if there's like sand in there. You probably experienced as a kid when you were playing using remote cars in sand. The wheels become stuck because the sand is blocking all the little bearings. Because it was a cheap RC car. But this one is completely banged up with uh, part numbers on two sides I think. So I just found a part number. It's just a $7 bearing. 7 euros. Whatever. Better than uh, paying 200 bucks for the complete unit. Better redneck this together and uh, save a couple hundred freaking uh, usable monies. So yeah, the best way to get this back together is you have a new bearing in. The, the hard part is getting the new bearing in with no damage. I think the best way is um, on a flat surface somewhere. Not a ball pencil hitch. Uh, ball hitch. Flat surface so it doesn't bend up the pulley. Uh, find something flat, not babushka battle axe from the 18th centuries. <laughs> or from the or from the Vault War II, whatever. Um, uh, let's get uh, a block of wood. Uh, it has to be center on here. You can also use a bench vise if it was big enough. This one is not big enough. It barely it, it touches the bottom, it's not good enough. You want to have it get it straight in there and not touch the middle part. Because it's too if you put too much pressure on the middle part, or or or, sm or with a hammer or something, you're gonna smash it up just like this one did. It doesn't, it does not rotate at all. And it did before I uh, uninstalled it from uh, a little lawnmower. It still rotated a little bit. It was really sand-like. I go to your wood pile and uh, look for something hard. This looks like hard wood, dark stuff. And Get a straight cut on here and this side as well and uh, center is on here and uh, use your battle axe but uh, this will deform and will smash up the bearings again so you want to have like an st a thick metal plate on this before you can uh, push it back into place so yeah, so the, the bearing stress is only on the outside so um, this is the wood pile the virus crisis is going on so it's pretty dwindling and uh, I have to reuse as much as possible because I'm a pretty sensitive to lung diseases and uh, I don't want to think about getting uh, another one again I had one this year and it was pretty bad freaking Chinese herbalist saved my life again anyways um, um yeah, the, met the steel pile is a steel part of the world. I think that will deform again. Need something more thicker. Well, I guess I uh, found your little oh, your tractor parts. Get out. This is massive steel. This is never going to deform. It's heavy as frig. So we're going to use the opposite. Clamp this into place. Bring the pulley upside down, a big block of wood, and then hammer it back into a location. Okay, this should be doable. Dealing with bearings is the hardest part of the do-it-yourself workshop because you need all kinds of weird techniques to uh, get them to move into place because they always press fit a big time. And I uh, took this one to get it out, so yeah. I think it's gonna take the same tool to get it back in. And uh, it's gonna work better with two hands. Okay, it looks like the technique's gonna work out. Make sure you tap it three times, check the underbelly and see if it's going in straight. Lay it back on there, get some more tapples. And when it's deep enough and not reaching the ridge, 
you can use uh, a pipe that's exactly the same size as the outer ring and smash it all the way home. If you have rusty pipe somewhere, uh, should be doable. A fence post is maybe this side as well. Make sure you don't smash the, the plastic ring or the inner ring. Then uh, it's it's destroyed if you hammer that. Maybe another one hits, but two hits might be broken. You can also use a uh, uh, wood axe. <coughs> yeah, it's getting back in there, but this one's broken, so I don't want to continue doing this. So um, yeah, that's basically how you remove bearings that are uh, making terrible noises. And so the way you find bearings: process of elimination. Make sure. The belts are tight this time. All your all your accessories are turned off. Uh, actually, the front side is wet because there's a big freaking hole in there. And I don't have the cash to fix that shit. So plastic tarps. Um, you don't know which one are turning and which one they're not. So the ones that are like slacky, don't those were not going to turn. Meaning they're not going to make anything of noises. Um, when you turn the engine noise, you don't hear anything. If you start to drive, you hear noises. Or I have the clutch uh, all in the uh, up position. One, dr one drive belt is feeding constant uh, oil to the pressure pump. Way to drive. If that's making noises, um, this pulley could no. This is for the this is for the knives. Uh, this pulley could make noises. Uh, this will maybe not. The uh, engine bearing is in there. If if that one make is making terrible noises, you have not a good day. It's uh, labor intensive to do that one. Um, there's a tension pulley, the black small one as well. If that yeah, that could make noises. The small black one. This model, a sealed self model, this is so I can put in a title. This is a combi 105, I think. The mine decks. Park from 16, four wheel drive. Stika, 2015. At least the clutch uh, is from 2015. Um, if you engage the mowing deck and you hear grinding noises or something, so it's coming from there. Probably means that um, the bearings for the knives are gone, are bad. You can um, dismantle the belts and then rotate the knife by hand. If they make like grinding, bobbling noises, then uh, you know, the bearings have cut holes. They've they've been contaminated and <coughs> grinding themselves a little bit. And that's kind of a uh, safety hazard. If if those fail, the knife can shoot out. And uh, kill someone probably. So mowing deck maintenance is a is a big one. So when you step a belt, rotate the knife by hand with high speed, just in the pulley, and um, the pulleys are underneath this plastic deck. There's some Allen screws. <coughs> yeah, that works right now. So yeah. It's kind of a pain in the neck, so I'm not going to undo a belt right now, but at least you know the theory. And the tip of the workshop today, always oil your bits fairly well by drilling. So I have a little uh, old spice pot, I filled it with, uh, I think, gear oil or something. Or Diesel, whatever. Uh, every, every five seconds when I drill hard metal, I just dip this in there, get the excess off, and then uh, drill your metals. This is how they last three years. Plus, it's a bar from Deutschland. Pretty nice because they have the little uh, shape bit fitting, and they don't gonna slip ever because they have a little uh, shape instead of just a round ass. I love these things, they never slip. So yeah, if you're looking for drills, get the ones with the, 
with the nuts round backs. Those are nice. Some oil. They go a long way. That's how you ruin drills, overheating them and then they get dull. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it for this one. It's hot outside, a little bit.